Hey guys, this is CLS01, and if you're looking for a good way to attach a wood post to concrete, then stay tuned. So I'm working on some concrete steps today, and I need to get some railing up. It's got some railing already, but it's very low and unsafe. So I need to get some proper height railing, like this, installed. So this railing is about 40 inches high, and the only thing I could attach the post to was concrete. So I needed a nice sturdy bracket to attach with. So here's a look at what I'm using to attach the wood post to the concrete. This is made by Simpson. It's an easy base fence post base. And you attach this to the concrete by using concrete anchors. This particular base is made of pretty thick steel and it's pretty rigid, so it keeps the post nice and secure. I've tried a couple other brands, but they didn't work quite as well. So to complete this job, you're gonna need a hammer drill. I purchased a $100 Makita drill at Home Depot, and this looks great. You're also gonna need some concrete anchors. These are made by Redhead, and they're 3 8 by 3 inches long. These 3 inch anchors need to be drilled at least an inch and a half deep for proper fitment. But for different anchors and different lengths, the specs change. This is the instructions per their website. It calls for drilling at least a quarter inch deeper than anchor embedment. Then it calls for cleaning it out. Then it calls for driving it. Then it calls for tightening it. And you're only supposed to tighten it to about 25 foot pounds of torque. So right now I have my post base exactly where I want it. So I'm going to mark the holes by just barely starting to drill each hole. And I'm using a masonry 3 8 carbide tipped drill bit. So there's four different holes on the base, I'm going to mark each one of them. Once I have all the holes marked, I'm going to remove the base and drill to the proper depth. Once the holes are drilled, then I can go ahead and clean them out with compressed air or an air compressor. Now it's time to go ahead and put the anchors in place. So I'm going to go ahead and insert them inside the hole. You're not going to be able to push the anchors all the way down in place. So you're going to have to use a hammer to tap them down even farther. You want to just tap them down lightly until nothing but the threads are exposed or until they're at the desired height that you want. Also, it might be a good idea to go ahead and put the nut on before you start tapping them down so you don't tap them down too far. I have a lot of experience, so I went ahead and skipped that step. So all my anchors are in place and tapped down, so now it's time to go ahead and attach the base. So I'm going to go ahead and install the washers and the nuts for each anchor. And then go ahead and tighten them with a ratchet with about 25 foot-pounds of torque. Okay, now that I got all my anchors in place and tightened, it's time to go ahead and slide in the post and secure it with screws at the bottom of the base here. It might be a tight fit in certain the post in the bracket, so you might have to tap it down with a hammer to get it all the way down. So I have a nice secure sturdy post here, but now I got a lot more work ahead of me. I still got five more posts to do. So I'm actually going to be attaching railing going all the way up. So here's a look at before what was going on. We get that railing that was only about a foot high, and now here's after. I did a set of railing on both sides. It's at proper height now, and I had to attach each one of these posts to concrete. So I had to install six different easy post bases and a lot of anchors. Well, thanks for watching. This is CLS All One. If you want to hear more from me, please like and subscribe. And to see more of my videos, just click any of these links to see more.